I'm just curious, like what you see in common with other impressionists, like there has to be, not everyone can do it, obviously. Like what, what is it? Do you have to have a certain tone in your voice? Is it like, a, is it just like a gift, like being good at basketball? Like, how do you sort of define it? I think the, the, the best impressionists that I know are all, that we, the one thing in common is that they're all empathic. They're mm. very empathic and are able to put themselves in other people's shoes, you know? Um, because you, anyone can do like a, a kind of a cartoony impression like Schwarzenegger and Walken are ones that people do all the time. But they're like, hi, what are you doing? You know, but there's like, there's no pathos there. There's no like, there's no sinking into the character, into mm -hmm. the person behind the voice. If you do, like for instance, like McConaughey, you can't just do McConaughey as like, you know, a stoner guy. You gotta like think about what it's like to be McConaughey and how he sees the world. And I think the people that I admire the most are the ones that really sink into the character and see the world through their eyes. And then the voice is informed because of that. Right. That's, that's what I see more than anything. It's just the, the, the empathy or the ability to see the world through their eyes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I, I might have to cut this out, but was there, <clears throat> everyone did Trump. It was like this generation Shatner pretty much. So <laughs> Did you have a favorite Trump impression? Because there was, you know, thousands to choose from. But the ones I really kind of gravitated to were the ones that really got his inflection right. And, you know, some people are just so bombastic about it. Like, were there any that really stood out to you? So here's the thing. I've done oh. Trump for a long time and I had never done it publicly. I'm glad you asked that because I think everyone was doing this great big Trump. But actually, he's a very, most of the time, he was a very subtle, very subtle speaker. And he loved to elongate words and then make his mouth very small. Okay. And I love that. I love the up and down of his voice. Like, I'm yeah. fascinated by his voice. I think he's one of the most interesting orators of our time, you know, politics Which notwithstanding. But it's true. Yeah. I mean, he's just, he does have a charisma you know, which I think is why he won over so many people. And um, there is something very bizarrely interesting about his voice, you know, because it is so frenetic and all over the place, you know, but, um, and he'll have a thought midstream that'll make it go up. He'll be like, so here's the deal. And I also said, that, uh, <laughs> but by the way, and then, well, this would never happen to me, okay? And you're like, whoa, it's like a roller coaster. With, you know, with, with like Obama, it was very calm. It was very measured. You know, you get this sort of, uh, I'm talking to you right now. And this is, uh, yep. You know, it was always very one note, which was also its own brand of pleasing and interesting. But Trump was just a roller coaster every time he opened his mouth, you know? <laughs>